We are rolling, you guys. Welcome to another episode of Actor Class, the Queen's podcast. And boy, do I have some special queens up in the building. Okay, Yessie, you've watched you've watched my uh podcast. My yes. podcast. So you know how we have that intro song? We got Ali up in the building. Say, say what's, what's up, A. We got the lean up in the building. Say what's up, A. We got Yessie up in the building. Say what's up, A. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so if you guys are wondering, I mean, honestly, if you have been a follower of mine, you should absolutely know who these two queens are. These are my best friends, you guys. These are my high school best friends, Delina Bui and Yessi Savo up in the building. Um, damn, y'all. Well, thank you guys for coming on to the show. Oh, thanks for having us. Yeah, we're so <laughs> we're excited, so excited to be here. Yeah. So this is what I've been doing when I'm not with you guys. I'm here i love it um okay well i think it's only it's only fair and normal to kind of just like let the audience know how all of us got together you know mm -hmm. so i met weenie her name is weenie it's i don't know how <laughs> i don't know how it went from bunny to weenie i don't know There's so i many think nicknames. what it is okay what it is is i'm just a fan of nicknames I oh don't, i don't like calling my close people like their actual names yeah oh, you're the sure. queen of nicknames like she's given everybody a nickname yeah multiple times Every it just feels person. right it just feels <laughs> right and then like calling my friends and my close people nicknames it's just like a hmm term of endearment almost it's a term of endearment and it just lets us know that we're on to the next level yes. we're not just like mm -hmm. acquaintances like we're a pact for fucking life. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? I see that. I like that. Your nickname for me definitely stuck. And then it just now everybody you don't calls have a fucking me that. nickname Wait, for me. What's yeah. your nickname for her? No. You don't oh, no, your nickname oh, for me. Oh. I've tried to come up with a nickname for you and I can't. <laughs> I was like, no, don't hold on. Tell the people now. <laughs> no, help. I need, to, I need to come up with a nickname for you for sure, though. But I don't know why. That's I just have thing. That's the thing. Rashad, can you turn me up just a little bit? That's the thing about. There it is. Um. I think of nicknames for other people, but mm. people don't think of nicknames for me. And that's absolutely fun. That's like, okay to me. Mm. It's more, I think my fulfillment comes from me having a nickname for you guys. You guys knowing where I'm at. You guys being okay with the nicknames because I don't know if I'm like calling you something that you don't want to be called. You know what mm -mm. I'm saying? So after we get that, past that, it's like, mm, we're good. We're good, yeah. Mm -hmm. But I want you, what's, like, what's a nickname that you can call me? Think of one right now. Okay, Aaliyah. <laughs> like, literally all that comes to mind is like Leah, which is, which is like a normal It's so basic, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I know, so, I can't. What's your nickname for me, Weenie? Awea. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Awea. It's so hard Awea. to find you on Instagram sometimes because I spell out A-W-E-E-Y-A. Because -E 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 that's your name on my phone. I'm like, okay, actually. I have to spell it I right. think me, okay, so this is, okay, mm. so this is kind of the dynamic. So Delina, her name is Delina. Delina and I, we met in high school. We went to the mm. same high school, shout out to Burbank High School, Bulldogs, blah, 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 right? <laughs> and fast forward to when we just became, where where did we meet? We met at a, what, a high school, um, no, no, not high school, a choir party? I no, it was a choir? I was in choir, but maybe no it wasn't choir because i thought we met was through mel we didn't meet through we, mel we met through serena how did we meet no i think we met through mel and then serena or maybe serena first and then i don't know how do i not know how you guys met i've have we ever talked about that i just know we've never no we've never talked about i this just before. knew you guys were really close because i came into the picture a little bit later but um i never knew that like, I never knew when you guys met. How the fuck? I think it was Serena. I think we were supposed to go out. We were supposed to go out to, like, a movie or, like, to eat or something like that. Mm -hmm. And we had a mutual friend. Her name mm -hmm. is Serena. Shout out to you, Serena, if you watch this. Um, who was my, you know, we were close. We were in cheer together, blah, blah, blah. I don't know how me and Zelina met. All I remember is that you had red hair and you were so cute. The reason why I fell in love with Delina is because she was... <laughs> so the reason why I what? fell in love with you is because we were talking about our type in boys. Oh. I'm not even going to say men. Type in boys and oh guys. Oh, time. Yes, and I what do did remember. You, and you said that she, that she liked black guys. And I was like, that's my bitch right there. <laughs> where, when... When and where, just how would you meet like a beautiful Asian girl? And she and her first choice was like black men. She was like, What did you say? T 
tall, dark, with white teeth. You had said something. I don't remember. You have better memory than I do right okay, now. Yeah, this yeah, is yeah. true. You have but really good memory. Everyone I love, all men now. I w- <laughs> <laughs> so um, She's eligible. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Single and ready to mingle. No, every time uh, that I post, it's I so, qu- it's, <laughs> it's actually quite annoying. Every time that I post Delina, everybody's just like, all, all of my guy friends are just like, Mm-mm-mm. same. Same Every here. time. She's my Thank cute you, little everyone. energizer bunny. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that's how I fell in love with Delina is because she liked she liked black guys and I just was the only I grew up I grew up being like the only black girl, like in school. In high school. You know school. what I'm saying? Yeah, in mm-hmm. high school, even middle school, elementary, like there would only be like two black people, including me. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So it's like it was kind of refreshing to meet someone who's non black and actually be open to and actually prefer, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying, at that point in time. A black guy, and I yeah. fucking loved it. And Aww. then we became we became friends ever since. We even our our boyfriends, our ex boyfriends, were best friends. Mm-hmm. And That's we, right. we went through a yeah. phase. We went through a phase <laughs> where it was literally the four of us all, all the, the time. time. She was she. I, I was oh fucking with her even more because she was like the first one of my friends to have a car and drive. So she was the drive. She was like the designated driver all the time. <laughs> I picked her up after choir, after dance practice, everything. Aww. She would be. She would literally be the getaway car, like after rehearsal or after anything that I had. She would be the getaway car to like start go and do something. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Oh God, good times. Memories. Wow, good times. Okay, yeah. See, your turn. How did we? How did we meet? You want to go for it? We met in dance class. Mm-hmm. Like right after, I was trying to remember when, but I feel like it was like right after we graduated from high school. So we actually, all of us didn't go to the same high school. I was the odd one out. She was the odd one out, but I mean, it's been so fucking long that we yeah. just already say high school. And then and we have to get into you two because it's yeah. like, I kind of, I don't want to take credit or anything, no, you but take I'm kind of, you take I'm credit. I'm kind of the glue for them 100%. being like, you know what I'm saying? 100%. Okay, and, but, ta- and I don't know yeah. exactly why me and you got together. Me too. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> it was, so we met. Going back, yeah. we met during dance class. We would take the same dance class um, Mondays and Wednesdays. And after class, funny, oh, <laughs> after class. Thank you, Yessie. Thank you for that drop. <laughs> That's why you're my fucking best friend. I got you. That was total accident. <laughs> but truly, after class, the thing was to go outside and talk about class, catch up, because you didn't see these people, these friends that you, you know, you start to click with because you see the same people every week. Right. Um. You go outside and talk after class. That's so funny. Um, full circle moment. Exactly. And uh, yeah, so Ali and I actually just clicked right away. I remember. I remember within like a week or two of meeting, we were already having a sleepover. Right. Remember? With another mutual friend. Yes. And we had like onesies. It was so fun. And after that That's sleepover right. oh was when God. we like fully clicked. And funny enough, I still remember like what we started talking about when we first started. What, what was that thing that we. The smoothie thing. The fucking protein. The protein powder. That's how we started talking. Bot- by or uh, body by Vi or uh, ugh, something. S- by Vice- Visalis? By Vis- Vis- <laughs> That's how we started talking. I was doing Visalis and then she came up to me and was talking to me about it. And then we just started talking about it and then just clicked. And then like I really I try to remember what took us from that to like next level. Here we are. But I mean, well, it was like, then we also ha- we had we had two mutual friends and we yes, kind of became like a, a group. Pack yes. Or whatever. And, you know, us two stuck and the yeah. other two kind of went about their business. Um, no it's, love lost, though. But it's just. Yeah, it just always we always bonded together. And I remember what we used to love doing was we always and still do smoke hookah. Um, yep. So that was our thing. That was our thing was we mm. would go and smoke hookah because when you're going to smoking hookah, like you're ordering food, you're you're smoking. It's such you're a just, social thing. Such a social thing. We just sit there and we just talk and we could be there for hours or like real quick. And then the way that Delina and I clicked was Delina also smokes a lot of hookah. <laughs> And we were smoking hookah first. Yes. Oh, OK, 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 OK. And then I came into the picture and Aaliyah would literally go to hookah with me. And then, like, the next day, she'd go to hookah with Delina. And at one point, she's like, 
Yessi, I'm going to have to introduce you to my friend Zelina because... She told me I, the same thing. Yeah, she's like, I can't keep smoking hookah like this. Like e- like five days a week, I'm Oh my I'm God, I'm going to cry. Hookah. That's right. And then so we got all together. And then mm-hmm. I remember Delina and I would be like, okay, Aaliyah's not down to smoke hookah all the time. Yeah, We're bitch. down to smoke hookah all the they time. They would be like hookah hopping. Every day. Like, oh, every oh, day. Yeah. I forgot about the hookah hopping. But... They oh. would do, yeah. You guys would fucking oh. not do it. Not only do it every day, but be at this hookah lounge from this time to this time oh then go gosh. to another one from this time to this time and i was i just couldn't keep up i completely i could not that. keep up how I did we do to. that how did we do that i don't know we were also not 21 yet so like hookah That's was right the popular it was like thing. a ooh, we're doing something yeah right right so i i get it we're not as bad now even though we just talked about going to get hookah after yeah in the elevator so yeah, yeah that's that's how it all started was mm-hmm. me and you and then then you caught us together because you're like, I can't do this anymore. I'll come oh, and have a glue. cute moment. Yeah. And you know what's so great about us too? And I and I kind of not give myself credit, but I don't know if it's like a normal thing. I and actually I've been I've been a part of an experience to where like somebody will introduce me to another person and mm. me and that other person will start to like, you know, mesh and mesh yeah, and find our own relationship. And mm-hmm. then the other person that introduced us would get mad at me for yeah. like not asking you know what I mean, mm. her because she's the one who introduced us for not asking her like hey can me and this person that you just introduced me to right hang out it's right. like you know what i mean yeah and they may they may get mad because maybe we didn't invite but like yes. we're finding our own relationship i get yeah. that sense but you know what i'm saying and 100%. that's just what that wasn't the case here i was actually so happy that i can kind of just step back <laughs> let you guys do what the fuck you do i'm only there for the food you guys go food and then hookah mm-hmm. and then hookah and then hookah and then hookah mm-hmm. and and I'm just happy that I was able to like introduce you to and you guys found each other, found your own relationship. Yeah. It's you know so what I'm saying? crazy to really like look back and see our friendship come together. Cause you, you know, we've been friends now. I mean, you guys were at my 20th birthday. So I think it was 19. 19 19th <gasps> birthday. I'll be yeah. 27 this year. Oh so my it's God, almost, almost a decade. Ten years. And yeah. it's crazy because we don't realize like how much time has passed, but because it just feels like yesterday, but at the same time, like when I pause and actually look at it and say, like, I remember when you like worked at CPK and it was like, you know, you were a server and you were still taking classes. And I remember when you decided to quit. I remember when you were still in fashion school. Now you have your own brand. Like, it's crazy when you take a step back to see everything that everyone's accomplished and all the growth that we've had. Mm -hmm. But it feels like just yesterday. I mean, Mm. so uh, I have a question. So how did you guys not? So obviously, yes, you had hookah in common. But like, what made you guys click? Because then mm. for a while, like, you know, because I was always in a relationship. I don't think I've been single. I don't think I've been single for I probably was like single for a moment. Uh But like lean has no. Oh, both of you guys have been there for my ex and probably ex before that and then ex before <laughs> that. <laughs> you guys so have been, been with me. I mean, yeah, obviously it's been over a de- almost a decade, but um, wow. What was I going to ask? What? Oh, yeah. They they have like their own little group with like other friends that I'm not necessarily close with. But like first question. Mm. What made you guys? How did? Why did? You, how and why did you guys fall in love and Aww. have your own relationship? And do you remember that moment for each other? Like how you how you guys were like, yeah, I can do this without Aaliyah, and I can I could keep seeing Delina, I could keep you know hanging out with Yessi and whatever, yeah. whatever, you know. Honestly, the first moment I met her, so we were at Cafe Rouge. Do you remember? <sighs> That's when you introduced. Both me oh, and Yessi. Cafe Rouge. Yeah, and then we just clicked right away, started talking. Like, we've been friends forever. And after that, Aww. every time when we went out, just us two, people thought we were, we've been friends for years. And we're like, actually, we just started hanging out. Oh, that's so true. Why did you tell me this might get emotional? <laughs> I'm Aww. like, oh, that's, that's so true. Out. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, uh-huh. That's so true. I mean, honestly, I think for all of us, we all have really good hearts and I feel like the moment that I find somebody that's really genuine and just really just like overall has like a really good energy about themselves just an instant click and I always felt like that with you and also like because and I'm I'm sure this was the same for you but if, if since you guys were close like I already knew before meeting Delina that I would love you because I 
you know, love you so much and I respect your opinion. And like, obviously, if you have a close friend, I know that I'm going to love that person, too. Right. Um, And then, yeah, I think I think it did help that we had a lot of similarities. We enjoyed mm-hmm. like. The you same. guys have been on trips together. Like, oh yeah, we were travel me. partners. Yeah, travel but partners. Now, now yeah. we do a girls trip with all three of us. Yeah. We went to Miami together. Mm-hmm. We've been to New York. Um, it's just really cool how we can each have our own relationship with each other. We can yeah. have a relationship with each other, not only like between the three of us, mm-hmm. but like we, us two, me and Yessie have our own separate thing. Mm-hmm. Yessie and Lean have their own separate thing. Mm-hmm. Lean and me have our own separate thing like it's just so cool and I think I recommend that for all friends out there like just you know what I mean that's a good point some people are friends with people just because they're just it's mutual and maybe sometimes it's forced like they haven't really found their own thing Mm. should people find their own thing should they let it happen naturally should they strive to like you know what I'm saying yeah I think that's normal, but I do think that we're human. There's and different a lot types of, of friends. There's different types of friends. Everybody has their own energy, like overall, just for, even forgetting about just friendships. But like you have your own energy. You're, you have your own energy. And some days like I'm going to want, I need your energy. And other days I'm going to need yours. Or just mm. everybody, everybody is They offer themselves. something different, right? Yeah. yeah. And I think where we get like misconstrued is where jealousy or things like that um, – FOMO or just like these natural possess where Mm. it's like oh but she's my friend and if they hang out without me Mm. they're gonna get closer and they're gonna Mm. forget about me Mm. where none of us are like that because we Mm -hmm. all are you know we're not perfect but we we do we value what each one of us brings to the table and I have confidence in my relationship with Delina and I have confidence in my relationship with you right I don't need to be there every single moment Mm. I love that you guys have your moments and then the next time you see me you tell me about your moments and then that's yeah it's just we gotta we gotta check our ego sometimes as far as I have to be involved in everything and this person's at the end of the day things are gonna happen and if you're constantly overthinking and like worried about the next step and what's going to happen then you're doing yourself a disservice and just it's just too much and I don't want to force myself in a position where like maybe I wasn't thought of you know what I'm saying in your plans and I don't want to like intrude and be like hey well so where are we going today and it's like well maybe and it has nothing on you guys like maybe you guys wanted your own little situation if i wasn't naturally thought of when you guys wanted to go to this hookah lounge and have it be that you know what i mean because it might be something totally different if i just like placed myself in there you know what i mean but i have have you guys dealt have you guys dealt with or have experienced being being like that like did you sometimes feel a little left out when maybe your two friends would your you know whatever your friends would hang out without you or have you experienced somebody who felt a certain type of way when you would hang out and you know didn't necessarily invite them yeah um I think both for sure I mean you've been in both positions I've been in both positions I'd be lying if I said oh yeah I'm just confident all the time and every everything is just always so great and I mean you know you have your moments and like especially when I was younger I would be like oh that looks so fun I wish I was invited to that and I'm like oh you know it's not all about you all the time you know you think there about it, it and you're like there it is yeah. oh they didn't invite me when when I might not have crossed their mind because a, I'm usually working or B, like they just saw me yesterday or just whatever reason. And and if those two people, it's not that deep. And then it's yeah. not that deep. It's just not that mm-hmm. deep. And you'll have your moment and you weren't meant to be there. Like that's what you just have to tell yourself. Right. And then the other side. Yeah, I have I have had like friends or other people. And you kind of feel that energy when mm-hmm. they're like, you can for sure, you know, and it's just it's just like don't feel that you're great. Like I want to hang out with you. Just it just didn't happen. And like, right. And if you want to hang out. Hit me up. Hit me up. Yeah. I'm right here. I will gladly. That's the thing. Some people, some of you ladies, some of you ladies (laughs) just have this thing where you just feel like everybody needs to call you. Everybody needs to text you. Everybody needs to invite you and include you. And you're waiting on these other people when in reality... If you want to fucking hang out, you hit them up and see what the fuck is going on. And then maybe you'll be included more often. Exactly. I don't know. know, Because sometimes, like, for example, when I'm busy, I'm not going to think of everybody to invite. There it is. I'm not going to hang out, you know? Well, let me just go down my contact list. Yeah. Yeah, it's not on purpose, you know? Like, of course, I would love to hang out with you, but sometimes, you know? And I think that's what... We're busy. Right. That's a good... Like, you saying that, 
made me kind of realize why we have been so close like for so long is because of that too it's like we understand that everyone's busy everyone's living their own lives and the older that you get and the more that we continue to do our own thing but yet we all consecutively still want to make time for each other like right. sometimes i won't see you guys for a few weeks and then we see each other and we just pick up right where we left off but it's not that i didn't miss you guys the whole time it's not because i i went and hung out with this other person like no one ever knows maybe that person texted me and i'm just like oh perfect yeah i'm right down the street from your house let's go grab something to eat done again it's just not it's just not that deep right yeah that's really it it's all about communication and i feel like mm -hmm. i've always talked about communication um communication when i you know when i'm in this seat you know like it's not only because tally has been here multiple times other friends have been here multiple times and it's like between your friends, between your work partners, between your relate, mm. between you and your significant other, it's about communication, which brings me to, because I think it's an interesting story. When I first started dating Tally, mm -hmm. we kind of had a situation to where you felt like I wasn't making Oh, that's time. right. <laughs> Okay, and also I'm like the least confrontational person. So for me <laughs> to say tell, anything. So tell them what happened because I'm in love with Tally. I was so in love with Tally. Do you remember when I first got together with him? A little. A little. And it was interesting how Tally and I got together. If you if you know my, that's a story for another time. If you want to know the story how Tally and I got together, go to our YouTube channel. Um, but you guys obviously know how we got yes. together. Yeah. Do you guys remember? Like, totally when, remember. When it all happened, when I broke up with my ex. How oh, yeah. was I? You, you were... You were great. You're you're following your heart, and you're and that's something did that you I guys do ever love about disagree? You. Did you guys ever disagree with my? Um, I mean, obviously you obviously you agree with it now because I'm about to marry the fucking guy. Oh, I love Tally. Yeah, yeah, and I love him too. <laughs> yeah, but when I first got together with him, was there ever a point where you're like, mm -mm, like she did that guy dirty, <laughs> or like you just disagreed with my choices? Lean, you want to take this one? Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course I disagreed with it in the beginning mm -hmm. because that the way it happened, like go Leah to my said, channel, go to her channel and find <laughs> out. Then you'll understand what I'm saying. <laughs> not to get into detail, right. but um, I, I just didn't this. agree with it because that's just not the way I would like to go about like breaking up with a relation, like my past relationships. Right. So at first I was really disappointed. I was just like, why is she doing this? And oh my I was God. just like super shocked. But as time went on, like Anya said, you're following your heart. I got to meet Tally. I love him so much. Like Aww. you guys are so great together mm -hmm. and everything just naturally just flowed and came out. together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And especially you were friends with my ex too. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. we, uh, again, we were all high school friends. Again, her ex, you know, my ex was, like, really good friends with her. So it, we just have history. So it's like, it's even, I can feel you even more now because she knew him. That's really true. <laughs> Had class, like, everything. Yeah, right? I, I mean, felt super conflicted because I felt like I was- Super conflicted, right. In between both, right, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. Right. So you can feel for the both of us. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yessie, do you remember when uh, Tally and I got together? Do you remember that? I do. I do remember. And honestly, I mean, you know how it is. Like when you're in a new relationship, you just I mean, I'm guilty of it. Um, like you kind of fall off for a little bit. You know, you want to spend time with the person that you love. And clearly. I oh, mean, yeah. We're going to when we had our little thing. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. And mm -hmm. clearly, you know, it's just it just is what it is. And I've I I understand now that I, I'm in a relationship where I feel like I've, you know, met the one and and all this. I understand like you want to hang out with that person all the time and and just like feed off of that energy and um and yeah like it's it's tough because sometimes you're just so like wrapped up into that that you maybe don't see your friends as much as you normally do or you know and it's and it's at the end of the day it is all about balance and you find that balance eventually but I think like in the beginning it was just like a shock kind of because it's like wait where's my best friend like mm. I, you know I want to hang out with my best friend you felt like I wasn't calling like I wasn't it just, I wasn't there. Like my presence wasn't there. Yeah, but it was. It was like a quick. I mean, it was never anything crazy. It was just a quick, like, "Hey, I'm gonna like tell you." Because am I overthinking this? Am I just being mm. in my head? Because I have been that person where I've just like, "Oh, hey, I'm hanging out with my friends," and I get into a relationship and I'm like, "Bye." And I've always tried to work on myself with that. Like when I was younger. Um, so that, when I brought it up to you, you were like, 
I loved your reaction. You were just what like, was it? you were like, thank you so much. Like, I never want you to hide anything. I just, if you feel any type of way, like I'd rather have open communication and talk about it because maybe I have been doing this or maybe I'm not, maybe it is on you. And then it's like, if you never, if I never brought it up, we wouldn't have just had that conversation. And it was a five minute conversation. And we were just like, you're like, okay, perfect. Like, thank you for making me aware of it. And right. then let's make it better. I'm so happy. And that literally has been our only like that thing. That has been, knock on wood. Right. We <laughs> need, we've never had a, a thingy. Have yeah. we? A thingy? I no, know. I don't think we've ever. I don't think so. Ever. Oh, wow. And it, I That's think it's crazy. because, be, well, the one thing that I will say is I know you guys may be looking at Zelina and she, she's just so cute. Like, that's why I call her Weenie. We have like baby, our, our nicknames are like baby names, Awea and Weenie. Weenie. <laughs> Delina, Weenie, if you couldn't put that together. But she's like a person that's so like very just, what, what is that word? Like just very sure of herself. Yeah. Very just like assertive when you need to be mm -hmm. um yeah. mm -hmm. what's another word assertive there's another like, word that i'm thinking that i'm thinking about like just yeah just very just, sure of herself and yeah, i would always confident. if i didn't want to hang out with somebody or if i she has no problem telling you no which is something that yes. i really really respect about delina very and true. something that i still need to fucking learn because i it's just mm -hmm. so hard for me so anytime that we would be together and we would have like one of our other friends like say do we want to hang out or can you do this for me? And da, da 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 Like it's much easier to run over me than it is to run over her because I would just kind of string it along and be the, I don't know, let me, me check too. my schedule. Yes. Or hey, do you want this drink? Try it. And it's like, okay, I'll try it because I don't want to hurt your feelings. Right. Lena's like, no. Yeah. No. <laughs> in a nice way with a no, smile. Yeah, in a, yeah. <laughs> she's very, yeah, she'll, oh, and it's crazy. That's so true. I, I agree. I think that's like definitely one of your my favorite qualities about you. Yeah, oh, so I definitely respect yeah. I respect her for, with so many other things, but like that is a main one and it's like I know when to push back, I know when to, you know what I'm saying? I know my place when it comes to this particular best friend. Mm -hmm. Which kind of brings me to um this question that I posed in the car. Mm. What do you guys think makes a best friend? Because what's interesting is that my mom has always told me that best friends don't exist. And it's probably because mm -hmm. maybe, no, she has best, she has close friends, but I guess she never like really categorized them as best friends. I don't know like what her growing up is. I'm going to have to bring her on the show clearly. Aww. But I grew up with her like always telling me there's no such thing as a best friend. There's no such thing as a best friend. I'm your best friend. Yourself is your best friend. You only have close friends. Mm. And I'm like, okay. So I, ne I was very, uh, what's, I think her now because I was very careful with who I name best friend. And you two are the only people that I name best friend. Everybody else is like sister, close friend, my bitch, yeah. <laughs> main. But like you two mm. are like, mm. So what makes what makes a best friend? That's a really good question. Um, ooh. <laughs> I know it's a tough one. I'm like, I'm waiting for you to go first. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> I, I mean, I think I think a best friend can be defined in a couple different ways. So many ways. No so right or wrong answer. Yeah, so many it's different just ways. For us, yeah. For us, I for me, when I look at a best friend, I look at somebody that I can literally do anything, say anything, look like whatever, and we still have a great time. Like we don't have to go to Disneyland and like have that. Obviously, you're gonna have fun at Disneyland. Like we don't have to do that. We could wake up and just hang out in your living room and we'll laugh all day. We'll cry all day. We'll do whatever. And it's somebody that I feel like anytime you see him, it just feels like it could be a day, it could be a year, it could be a month, it doesn't matter. Right. Mm -hmm. But you just like pick up where you left off and someone right. just feels like family and you yeah. just have like a connection that just, I don't know, that just feels like family, just deeper than friends. Like I can't imagine my life without that person, whether it's again, an everyday thing or like a month thing, it's just that person is part of my life yeah, and has been there for me and has given me so much. Yeah. And just it goes back and forth. That's, yeah. I think that's what I would categorize as a best friend. Mm. Mm -hmm. For me, I okay, so I think about relationships and I think about what is our foundation? Like mm. what made us 
what kind of held us together right. and so for us it was dance for us yep. it was school and then for all, for the three of us it was hookah yeah. that was literally like our <laughs> true. That, that was our foundation true. that was something that we all had in common so mm. obviously like you know when you're finding a friend or whatever when you're when you're kind of like analyzing it or analyzing him or her it's like what do we have in common i guess that's like the best thing because then it's able it's conversation starter whatever the situation is and then when you get to the next level i feel like i could have i could i can be myself around you guys mm -hmm. i can um I, I felt accepted i felt that we could talk about we can go as deep as we want we right. can go as surface as we want we can talk shit with each other we can laugh we've made each other laugh i think a big thing is though is i've really felt the effort from you guys to like yeah. maintain our friendship That's a show good me point. how much you care about me do you remember yep. my birthday like right. what do you maybe you forget because sometimes i forget too but like <laughs> what happened what what kind of message do i get on my birthday from you two mm. you know what i'm saying what yeah. have you shown up for me have i invited you to things mm -hmm. have you how many times have you showed up for me right you know what i'm saying like right. that that is like the loyalty that I have found in these two. You know what I'm saying? And I think that's what really categorize, that's what like make, that's the, the difference between a friend and like a best friend. That's a, How much that's have you good. shown up for me? Yeah, that's yeah. really Cause I can good. really, I can think of like a solid few people where I'm like, yeah, we were close friends and they would be like, best friend is, you know, Aaliyah's my best friend. And it's like, but bitch, how many birthdays have I invited you to? How right. many birthdays have I told you about? And how many times have you came mm. to them? Zero. Right. You know and what I'm when saying? I really needed you or or not even when I really needed you. I feel like it's just being there for somebody because it's the right thing to do. And you feel like, hey, that person needs me. So, yes, I might have to work early tomorrow morning. But you know what? I'm going to take her out to dinner and talk right. it out. And, no, you know, absolutely. Yeah. So it's it's the sacrifice like back and forth. I mean, I feel like you both have been there for me through ex relationships, through like anything that I've been through, through switching jobs, through mm. not feeling like myself and just like, I mean, everything. And it's, yeah. it's like I I never flat out come to you and ask you, hey, can you come and like help me out? But it's just I don't have to when mm -hmm. it comes to you guys. It's always just hey, she's, it's like a no-brainer. Hey, she's not, she's going through something. Yeah. Let's go take her to hookah or let's go to her house or whatever it is. And I feel like it's, that's a really good point. Yeah. And there, I mean, obviously there's so many things there that you can, so many things. you know. Um, but I really think the connection and the effort is very important. Right. Because like you said, there's a foundation, which is where we connected, right. what we have in common, which right. we have many things in common with right. many different friends. Right. But then to the next level will be the connection mm -hmm. and how much you're able to open up and also for the other person to give you that emotional support as well for you to open up. Yeah. Right. Mm. Yeah. Sometimes I feel to like it will be your received. Connection, to Very further true. that relationship. Mm. You know, because sometimes it's just what we have in common. So we, we're just hanging out just for fun. While, like, for yeah. us, it's more than just for fun. We have fun with each other. But we're each other's emotional sh support as well. Mm. You know, there's so many different things. Mm. Yeah, I still remember, mm. like, years That's ago. That's a good one, Weenie. It was Valentine's Day the other day. And I still remember, like, a few years ago, like, I got Delina a little, like, Valentine's Day bouquet because she was like going through a breakup around that time and I like I don't know why that that came into my mind and we oh, went to yeah. hookah and like, we were at hookah too and I was just like <laughs> <laughs> so I just thought of that because it was Valentine's Day the other day and I was like oh my gosh when was that that was like five or six years ago but just little like things like that wow like, yeah it's crazy. that yeah I think Weenie hit it on the head is that emotional support because sometimes I feel like it's not received because some friend would just be like oh so bitch when are, what, what yeah. are we ordering <laughs> right um the drama like drama filled ugh mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. or just like on the sur just surface type shit and hey we can be surface like yeah. we can mm -hmm. we can do that too we can fool around we can be stupid and all of that but as long as a best friend knows when to switch gears and knows how to read energy yes. and what I'm feeling and what I need and what I need to talk about and like when it's state of emergency. Right. <laughs> you know what exactly. I mean? Exactly. It just so feels that's really, it. Yeah. Aww. So I guess we all have that. Um, yeah, it's hard to find for sure. 
because you have like your friends that you categorize like i have friends that i love to death right but it's like okay cool like when we party I'll call you. Right. You know, like, you know what friend is for what. Right. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. And that's it's, okay. And yeah. I think that's okay. That's totally fine. But yeah. it's it's unique and it's hard to come by when you find like really good people that you could truly do anything In with. you guys' lives, um, would you say that you guys had a lot of best friends? Or like now that we kind of have defined best friends to like what, you know, what it means for us, mm. when you guys look at your friends, um, you know, that you've known for a while, that you spend time, whatever the situation is. Can you, how how many friends, best friends, can you say that you have? Just a, a estimate. Ooh. Or maybe they're not your best friends. Maybe now that we've kind of like defined it. Yeah. Totally. Maybe maybe they're just, they're really great, great friends. Good, they're good friends. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny that we're talking about this because Travis and I, Travis is my boyfriend, uh, we're talking about like, when we would get married, mm-hmm. we're not engaged, but like you know, Travis. Soon. Yeah, that was a <laughs> our fingers looking a little, uh, a little, little dry. dry. Yeah. <laughs> Your new press on CVS press on nail. Oh is yes. Dry. <laughs> Which, by the way, that's the one thing that I do worry about because I don't like disclaimer. I don't get my nails done ever, and so I'm like, oh, what if he proposes to me one day and my nails are not done so if that ever happens i'm putting it on you too to like be like hey let's get go her get our nails, nails done. done yes right. okay so just gotcha. putting that out there now Got it. but yeah these are cvs Noted. press-ons that color that shape i love that length nine is dollars 100%. it's beautiful thank you a hundred percent press on nails <laughs> i'm like so happy we're talking about this because honestly do you like that can you go like this you have it. What? Yeah, look, I love so doing good. this. <laughs> <laughs> I think anybody who has nails or always like the water does bottle. That. I'm just always. ASMR. Everyone always knows when I'm typing on a computer yes. or texting. She, she's like, oh, Delina. I love it. I love yeah, it. Yeah. Oh no, Delina is like, and so fast with it. By the way, I've never you both using this finger. By the way, I don't text like a normal person. I'm just oh like, yeah, I definitely. That's true. She does do you that. You text with the pointer finger. Yeah. Yeah. What That's the so heck? Cute. Oh no. Yeah, I can't do work. this. <laughs> I sometimes do this, but no, I'm a I'm a this person. I'm a this person. Yeah, me too. But it's hard. I, I don't try know. to do it with my thumbs. It's hard. Like right now we just had to we just had to park on the sidewalk and I tried to put like the card in. Oh, you couldn't pull it and out. And I couldn't pull it out. So I was oh. like, Alea. And she had to like run across the street and you were able Having to do it? Pull it out yeah. like that. Yeah, she was able to do it in three seconds. It was Well, first of all, you me. don't have to put the card all the way in when you're I learned something new. Yeah, it's just literally like a a quick, a quick. I, I push it all the way. Don't insert in. it all the way. Oh, I need to hear insert the Insert it like halfway. Oh, well, that's what I thought. You hear the thing when you pull it out. Well, I couldn't pull it out. That was the whole oh, problem. Tr- because you inserted it all the way <laughs> in. <laughs> Don't insert it all the way in. Don't insert all the way in. In some cases. Yes. Like, oh, <laughs> come on. Yes, caught that. That's why you're my best friend. Mm. Okay, so you and Travis were what? I don't talking remember about, what we were talking about. You and Travis were oh, talking. Oh, that's right. Got you. Thank you. You're good. Told you. I love this. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, we were talking about bridesmaids, and I was like, oh, I and I know you're getting married and like that's really hard and I, I'd like for you to touch on this like how it came to that decision like picking bridesmaids and then like also making it correspond with his groomsmen like I was sitting there and I was ta- I was I was like for sure you two 100% are like my maid of honor damn you're getting into a good mm. you know but then yeah, I'm go, like keep going keep going I have a lot of we you know we are we we have a lot of close girlfriends and that I do definitely consider like family as well and I'm like oh my gosh but if I put everybody up there I'm gonna have nobody in the seats like and then I feel like oh but if I don't put this person up there then they're gonna be upset and I'm like okay so do I just do them too and then everybody else can like come to the bachelorette party and Mm. then you know you just don't so it's hard so I don't know how you're even dealing with it I'm thinking about a future problem I don't even have a ring on this finger or Mm. this finger it's coming it's coming yeah he's more than just a boyfriend he's your man 
Can you say, can you not say boyfriend anymore? I know. You know what? We are 20 however much years old. We don't have boyfriends. We have men. That's true. I have been calling him my husband accidentally. What? What? Yeah, like three times at work it's happened. Or like somebody would say it back to me the other day, um, because I'm off like for a week from work right now. And the other day somebody was like, oh, so like what do you and your husband have planned? And I was like, oh, Mm. I don't know. And then I Come on, casual. Yeah. And then I just accept it. Right. And I walked away. Come on, have it feel normal already. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, oh wait, he called him my husband. And I was okay with it. And then I went home and I told Travis, I was like, yeah, by the way, I've just been like calling you my husband randomly. You know, I no, I him. used to I I did that too. I still do that. He's not even my husband yet. He's your husband. He's my husband. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait for that wedding. I know. Wait, okay, so I'll get to bridesmaid, but but Weenie, do you yeah. have looking at your friends, do you think you have a lot of best friends or just a few best friends? And then like, you know what I mean? Are you able to kind of like categorize everybody because I, I feel like you have so many friends so many friends I feel like both of you have so many I feel like I have the least amount of friends in this room we right do now. have we have a lot of mutual, mutual friends, friends for like sure you said, I mm. love that everybody. you obviously know as well but like we have I think just spent more time you guys together. have so yeah. many friends we're honestly I was like what quarantine and everything has really taught me mm-hmm. is that like we're so blessed with the fa- like the friends that we have and the people we that we've like a- attracted into our lives it's it's like it's insane i mean everyone is just so real so nice will literally take you in and just i don't know it's just do you feel like you guys uh, have obviously it's a different connection but like just kind of get the tone do you guys feel like you have this like the connection that we share with your other friends mm-hmm. obviously it's not the same but like you have your own mm, like strong connection I definitely with feel your like other we friends. Do. Yeah, for we sure do. we have a lot we have a lot of good people in our lives. Like I know I for sure like my other best friend for me would be Steven, like as my male best friend. He's like my brother. I would Aww. Yeah, he's been there for me through a lot. A lot. I mean, yes. I consider him as one of my best guy friends as yeah. well. Yeah. Wow. So definitely like have that connection, I'd say. So lucky. Yeah, I, so lucky and just I don't know. I think we do. Yeah. I think we're blessed to have like a lot of really good friends. But our but our relationship is always so different. For yeah, me. no, absolutely. Exactly. Because it's like these you guys are like f- more than a best friend. It's it's family. To yeah. Me. So, yeah. Yeah. And I yes feel like every no. relationship I have with each person is different as well. So like you said, I have a lot of friends. I would say I have a good amount of best friends as well. Um, like you two. And also like Abby for my right. girlfriends mm-hmm. that I Shout really connect you, with. Mm-hmm. Oh, mm-hmm. Little Abba girl. I know. Little we should have brought her. <laughs> um, <laughs> but Abby. okay. So that's really, I, I admire that with you too. Because I feel like with your group of friends that I obviously know too. Because a lot of them we went to high school with. It's so cool that you guys grew up together. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like even though yes, you didn't go to high school with us. We were basically like fresh out of high school. Right when out of we high all, school. Yeah, yeah. When we all met. Or like literally, I don't know, like right at the end literally it was uh, yeah before I, after i was trying to remember the same thing i i don't I can't remember i think I it was right after research. i think it was, think right, it was right after, right after like yeah. right after because i remember that like i was year. driving around that time yeah we were like your hyundai yeah my hyundai <laughs> oh my, my hyundai yeah oh we've also had our own little you know like your oh. our our exes were friends oh my god anyway your ex hated me and, oh know. my god Let's oh, not even yeah. get the fuck I'm sorry. into it because I'm literally gonna get pissed again. Oh, that was I just <laughs> we've been even, through a lot. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't even have a remember lot of history. that until just that moment. No, but I do admire you guys for keeping your friends and knowing how to maintain maintain them and putting your trust in other people and having mm-hmm. that grow into the best friends that you can call them now. That's so cool because I thinking about my wedding and thinking about the different events that I want to have and stuff like it gives me anxiety because I really yeah. feel like I don't have a lot of friends. I have people I have a lot of people that I know. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. I'm just very, very picky with who I even call friend doesn't even yeah. have to be close friend or best friend for you to be my fucking friend. Mm. Oh, <laughs> uh, 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 uh. and I feel like, um, you know, obviously, because I'm in the entertainment industry, uh, it's just it's difficult. I and I really feel like it. I don't have. I feel like besides you two, mm-hmm. my Tally's sister, mm-hmm. my 
my dance friends, uh huh, that's Ari, Sammy, you know, whatever, continued. Well, not even continued, but like, uh, you know, it's just hard. But you know, like I've always respected that about you because you- it gives me anxiety. It makes me not want to have things. It makes me want to keep it really small so that because so that when I do have a small little group, mm. I can say it's really because like these are the only people that matter. These are the yeah. only people that I want here. You know, um, when you guys aren't available and when my other dance friends are available and when Tally's not available, I'm like, <laughs> family, mom, Fonny? when my mom's not available, funny. <laughs> and it kind of like sometimes it gets to me. I won't even I'm not even going to lie. Sometimes it gets to me because I'm like, damn, I really don't have a lot of people that I can depend on, you know, and maybe that's a good thing. Other yeah. people will look at that, look at me and be like, B bitch, that's a good thing. Right. You know, that's what I was going to say. That's something that I respect about you a lot is that you're like what your mom has told you it's like you're your own best friend like you you're you're a go-getter you 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 can lean on yourself and like just do whatever you want like i love that about you, you don't give it a second thought yeah you're you're never like jealous or ever you're just like that's cool like my time's gonna come like you're just that's such a great quality to have because i also feel mm -hmm. like on the other end yes it's great to have a lot of friends but a lot of times when you're not secure with who you are sometimes you throw yourself into hanging out with so That's many people because you start you want to forget about your problems and like I definitely did that years ago and then I went through a period of time where I was just like no I gotta pause all this and I just want to sit with myself and just like hang out with myself every night and just like face a lot of things that I am trying to not deal with because I just want to on to the next thing on to the next thing hang out with this person and hang out with this person the next day let's go to a club and let's say let's go to a restaurant you know what I mean mm. and it's like for you you can sit with yourself and like actually depend on yourself so I th I think it's a good thing a good thing for sure and I do think that like since I've um since we've been best friends like you definitely have had a lot of good friends and a lot of good people come into your life so you attract they come and go yeah you you know you attract they the come right and people. go that's a good mm -hmm. thing that's a good thing when you when you can recognize good people that come into your life yep. and then if it just happens to fade away they were there for a reason you got what you needed from them you they learned right. from that relationship learned from it yep. they got what they needed from you and you just keep it pushing exactly mm -hmm. I think that's what also defines a best mm. friend too is people who are able to come and stay who yeah. has stayed so it's it's literally still so crazy the universe the universe that. will fucking mm -hmm. the, the universe will f not flush out but will recycle what's a good word like the universe will like that that you yes. know what i'm saying whatever that is <laughs> i'm like i don't know but i filter. get it filter filter, filter. Yes. the universe will filter out what needs to come out what needs to come in mm. what needs to stay blah 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 exactly. what are you gonna say sorry no, that was it. I was trying to think of a quote that I've heard before. I can't remember what it is. It's if someone's in your, if someone came into your life to either be blank or a lesson, and I can't remember what the other one is. But that's exactly. Mm. Came into your life. I can't remember. It's gonna bother me. Blank if or you a came lesson. Into, a soulmate. Yeah, like you basically are there to either. Rashad, why are you saying no? <laughs> Do you remember what? Do it is? Do you know that quote? Yeah, I can't remember it's about what it is. a friend coming in being a something or a lesson. Yeah, like if somebody was in your life, it was either they were meant to just be a lesson, like or I get that part, or, or like a mm. yeah, like a, mm, like stay there. But I can't remember. Hmm. Whatever. Sure it'll, I was looking it up. Yeah. It'll yeah, it's interesting. Me. For okay, so how I pick my bridesmaids because right now I have five. Right now I have five, a solid five that I'm just like nice. solid, which are. You two, uh -huh. Tally's sister, uh -huh. Ari and Sammy. Cute. <laughs> I Super love that. cute. I right? think that's a perfect amount of bridesmaids. Yeah, I mm -hmm. think so too. Yeah, that's Saves perfect. me a little money. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, did it course stress like her? Yes, exactly. I'm like, but I don't think. Mm. I can literally be like, yeah, because any. A reason, a season, or a lifetime. There we go. A reason. A reason a, but what's the whole quote? A reason, a season, or a lifetime. Or you see? Wow. People come into your life for a reason, a season, or a lifetime. So if something bad happens that's in a, your life. That's a really good quote. That's right? a really great quote. Because, you know, we always we like. We should all get that tatted. I've never had a tattoo. I, I never had a tattoo either. Oh, let's go do it. 
You maybe, just do it. It's in my heart. Okay, I've never. <laughs> I've never maybe you don't want to get tatted. <laughs> no. Why? Not even something cute and little. No, I just never had an interest to get tatted. Like at all? No. Because I, I same. I haven't gotten tatted, but I do have an interest. But then sometimes I'm like, oh. Yeah, why you guys don't far? want something cute and uh, li- you're basically an artist you know how to draw great penmanship like you don't want something cute like something that dainty. means something something dainty I like exactly that. not myself but i love to see it on other people i hate her <laughs> <laughs> see how see how she's very firm yes you see we were about to so firm. we can we can never sway her no. she's just like you guys do no. <laughs> that's I'll her thing too she's very heart. firm <laughs> you always go it's okay yeah, oh, yeah that's, that's her thing. thing it's okay <laughs> that's her thing 100 percent. that's her thing it's okay it's okay yeah, like, really, you don't want to go to Jatana's? Like, yeah, we're, we're all going to go. Gonna go. We're all going to have so much fun. We're each, gonna have, we're each going to have a million dollar uh, um, a million dollar gift bag. Yeah, There's going to be great food. It's, it's okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I do the hand gesture, too, yeah. all the time. Okay. I love it so much. Yeah, all my friends know that. Change. Oh, it's like, Delina, it's okay. Yeah. It's, oh, it's that so now, we say, now we do it to you. It's okay. We'll see you next time. <laughs> Aww. No, oh my god. Okay, we do need to have something that's like a bond situation. And yeah. Lainey will just have it and she'll come with us. Will you come with oh, us? Yeah, at least? Oh yeah, I'm gonna come with you guys okay. and support. Okay. So she- how what would we get to have Lifetime? Because we're lifetime friends. Oh, oh that's mm-hmm. cute. I like you guys. That is. I I I don't I love that because I don't know what I want to get tatted, Lifetime. but I know, I know places. This quote, that quote is like amazing. I love that. Next time, we should all come here. You should bring a tattoo artist and <gasps> we should get a tattoo here. Yes. Okay. Wait. Done. Really? Yes. Okay. Done Wait. fucking zo. Okay. That'd be super cool. Well, okay. What? I don't know how a tattoo feels. What if I'm like screaming? You're I don't gonna think find you're- out. I'm gonna no, scream? she's not. Rashad, don't scare her. No, I like I the think honesty. She, she is going to. You're Knowing not. You. Okay, what is your high? What is your p- tolerance for pain? Okay, so I think that I have a pretty high pain tolerance because my dentist told me one time. I never <laughs> said. <laughs> <laughs> because your dentist told you. My dentist told me. Um, you're such a. No, dork, I think you're gonna yeah. scream, um, and then after you're like, oh, not bad. It wasn't bad. No, my dentist, guys, I will never forget. My dentist told me that I have a high pain tolerance because. Long story short, I had wisdom teeth that I it was hurting me. So I like left work and oh, I was I like, remember this. I was like, I need to get these out today. Like I'm not waiting because they have to usually refer you, whatever, whatever. So I go to my dentist and she's like, okay, the top one I can remove. The bottom one is just so impacted. Like it's growing at a different angle. I just don't even want to touch. And she's like, because, you know, there's like a, a possibility it might get infected. And I was like, okay, so what's the possibility? Like give me a percentage. And she's like, I was like, how confident are you that you could get this out? And she goes, like, 80%. I was like, that's good enough for me. And then she goes, okay, well, let me do, like, uh, another thing, like a cavity or, like, a root canal or something that was, like, supposed to hurt. And she's like, and then I'll let you know. And so she did that, and, like, I didn't even flinch. And she goes, okay, honestly, you have a pretty high t- pain tolerance, so I'm a, I'm a try. And then, like, we knocked it out, and it was good. I, I was the best patient. And ever since then... High pain tolerance over here, you know? Oh, no, she about to be. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I don't know. She about to Wait, now I can't get tattooed. It's tatted. not, okay. Everyone's like, yeah, Well, right. first of all, a tattoo depends, the pain depends on where you're getting it. So where would you get it, right? Pain. It depends on where. Like, for instance. For instance. Yeah, which one oh. hurt? The, did that hurt? Ooh, did that hurt? That hurt the most? Well, that's a lot because he had to fucking, oh, oh. that's where I want it. I want it, like, what? No. Well, no. Oh no. Oh, yeah, everywhere I want to avoid. Is... You want to avoid veins. Is this the, is this kind of like where you're talking about? No, no his is like closer right to the wrist. The, wrist. Like the, the closer it got to my wrist, the more I scream. Oh so gosh. It's like an hour. It's like an hour. Depends on also the detail. The de- oh, like he has gosh. he has shade, color, you know, all of that. Like that obviously plays a part. Like something cute like this where it's just words. Mm. We're just gonna get one fucking word. Lifetime. That's so true. fucking cute. I love that. <gasps> Are you gonna be my first tattoo? Yes! You better fucking promise me, bitch. Okay, I promise. You have witnesses now. Okay. And yes, I call them bitches as well. And they understand. How long have I been calling you guys bitches? I don't care. Since I, I started Q and L, probably, huh? 
Yeah. Since Arion. Since Arion. My bad. Sorry, sis. <laughs> um, since Arion. Yeah, she has been a bad influence on me. But in a great way. In a great I way. Love love I love you. her. Um, no, damn. What was I going to say? So, yes, we'll get that tatted. Lean is just going to be there. Just doing her weenie thing. Mm -hmm. Just the support. That's all we need. I'm like, you go, girls. Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, so for you, because it's your first time. That's especially. true. You're going to be fine. Where, where would you get it? Because the only places that I really want to tattoo is right here. And then, like, right here, which I know will be painful. No, he's already shaking. I got mine. Yeah, no, I have one there. I have one there. All the spots. All the spots that's hurt. painful. That's, those are only two spots that Something I really right want. Something right here is cute. What about here? Yeah, I'd do that. Or, Very like, right little. here. Like, Right across the full no every place Rashad. I want to get it done. <laughs> Rashad, Where? don't listen to him. But he has experience. I see I tattoos have experience on his body too. Okay, so I need but, all but, my sources. I purposely left out certain parts of my arm because they fucking hurt. That's where I wanted the parts that you he left out. He has big fucking big it's shit. Like it starts small and gets big. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. She really wants no, me to do this. No, that's no, why. Not in the wrong way, but like it, just, oh. it starts. It, you start with the lines, and then you start with the shading. Like, no, like, this part right here hurts like hell. That's my third really? choice. Anya, yes. mm. you just got to choose your fourth choice. Oh, gosh. the worst on your arms. And no, those are the only, sure. those are the two spots. So where? You're just going to have to pick something and be okay with it, all okay? Right, all right. Oh. What did you say? Tattoo, Tattoo cream. cream. So oh, fine. there you go. Yeah, none that shit out. You're fine. Oh, my God. Okay. Lifetime. It's cute. It's little. It's quick. Exactly. It could literally be as big as fucking a line. Okay, I'm done. We're, like, we're good. I got it. We'll do it. Okay. Let's, what do we, we have to plan our, <laughs> our best friend trip. Where should we go? I really we wanted... were in Miami. Oh, my gosh. To end this off, do you guys want to talk about when we went to Miami and what <laughs> fucking happened? Um... I, ha I still have a picture. Me too. Of you like oh. sleeping next oh. to the toilet. Tell them. Oh, with Tell me them on the toilet. Oh my gosh! Yes, Delina's. I using... was passed out under the toilet while peacefully. Lean was using the fucking toilet. I, uh, okay, I walked peacefully over her to not bother her sleeping. Yeah, you actually looked really angelic and really cute. My and I remember... legs were to the side of the toilet <laughs> and just not even over. like sitting properly. It was a cute moment. We had I don't so know much if I'm fun. Okay with that. Yeah, I still have it somewhere. I don't I, know how you can just pee, <laughs> urinate on top of my head. <laughs> no, your head wow. wasn't right there. We it had was no, next to the toilet. She had no other bathroom. Tell we them how it happened. Up. How did I get that drunk? I honestly don't know. We were at a club and we were with everybody in Miami. In Miami. We had hookah. <laughs> I mean, we had a table. So, you know, like one thing leads to another. And it's not every day. Like we don't go clubbing ever really. And so it's not every day that we do it. And it's not every day that we're in Miami. I think it was. My first time in Miami. Your first yeah, time it was too. Our first was time. It your first time in Miami? So it was our like first time in Miami. You had I was just teaching. Had, you just had a great class. Like it was like a girls up. trip slash class work right. trip. Yeah, it was actually a really good balance. Actually, mm -hmm. tell them when I when I blew up. Do you remember when you blew up? When I blew up on the all over the floor. <laughs> <gasps> I forgot about that. And you guys cleaned it up. Oh, yeah. Oh, my see, gosh. See, that's that, their defiant. See. Oh, my gosh. I remember. So she, threw, so she threw up. She was laying. I remember. You were laying in bed, going to sleep. And I remember Tally had stayed, like, I think with his family. So he was yeah. texting me, making sure you were okay. Because we yep. used to wanted to do, like, a girl's trip. So we stayed in the same hotel. And um, all of a sudden, you were, like, <laughs> sleeping. And then you just so peacefully. We tucked her like, in. Yeah, we tucked you in so peacefully. She's just like. So gracefully, <laughs> really? yeah. So get yeah, So we we were so confused because we tucked her and we thought she, she, she was, was sleeping. She just gracefully gets up and then thank God you actually like you were so perfect because the the room part was carpet <laughs> and then the bathroom like the hallway the to the hallway. bathroom was tile. So you gracefully went over there. You couldn't make it to the bathroom. You just fell onto the tile and just threw up and you had long braids <laughs> and it like right. was in there. And I remember Delina and I looked at each other and I was like, okay. One of us is going to have to clean her up, and the you, other one's going to have to clean the floor up. Which one do you want to do? best friends. <laughs> so I took you. I remember I was naked, and, and you were just washing me. Every individual braid just washing the chunks oh out. Oh, my God. Sorry if it's too much <laughs> duration, you and you did the up? floor. Why would you choose that? You should have chosen me. I know. That was a lot easier. Thank you, Lean. <laughs> <laughs> Because you were so peaceful. It was fine. Yeah. It was I, truly when fine. When I went to check in, she was just, just on the, like... 
in the tub sitting quietly <laughs> while she's Naked. just washing her. Yeah. It's like, okay, let's get it out of your boobs. Let's get it yeah, out of your hair. So- Lift your arm for me. <laughs> All right. I don't know how. Did you clean my vagina? I don't think so. I don't so. think you did. I don't yeah, think it no, went no. down there, but I did like rinse you everywhere. So I just right. didn't have to like, yeah, really <laughs> search for anything. Yeah, so. and we tucked her back in. <laughs> and, and then I forget you woke that. up. I did? Yeah, we tucked you back into bed. You woke up and you wanted to sleep next to the toilet. Oh, that's when you that... went to the toilet. And then we, so we brought you pillows and blankets, but then I had to use the restroom. So that's yeah. why that picture oh, happened. Weenie. We oh do have gosh. that picture somewhere I'll in there. Find it. No, I'm just kidding. I won't blow. It's just for It's just for our eyes. eyes. But it's actually really <laughs> cute because you were just laying down like this. So peaceful. And then she and cute. was just peeing like this. It was like the cutest picture. You wouldn't <laughs> be able to like, tell. She was urinating on top of me. <laughs> that was my sleeping space. Okay, and she was, was watching it happen. I was watching it happen. I was like, Yeah, you were probably just fucking <laughs> These laughing. are my best friends. <laughs> this is what oh, we're doing. Oh my God. I'm Aww. so happy you guys cam oh i'm thank you guys so much for being like i literally i will always like i don't care how big i get or or you know what happens i don't care how long we don't talk like we're always connected always connected some way somehow for a fucking lifetime and like i always want to i always want the world my audience like i don't exist without yesi and lean oh we feel the same exact way like it's just just do not they're my rocks man and and the one the last thing that i'm going to say too is i i love it that we're all just in our different lanes yeah you know what i'm saying we're all in our different lanes and they're like my escape like let's not talk about dance let's not talk about what class i'm not the Aaliyah janelle that everybody else knows i'm the fucking just Aaliyah. Uh, i'm Aaliyah. i'm just Aaliyah with you too oh yeah i really and I'll always be that that's yeah. the goal to like always just be that and you know for you two for you two too because you guys are destined for so much greatness my friends follow my friends their Instagram is going to be somewhere around here follow my friends follow their journeys they have such interesting stories they're both so talented and they have a lot of things coming up weenie What's your um your bikini line that people should look out for that is now yes. live and has launched? Beautiful. Aww. What's your Instagram? We're gonna tag we're gonna tag it somewhere around here. So it's shop unbo u n b o shop unbo. She's like literally the bikini queen. Seriously, like every cut she makes her own bikinis. I'll let you tell the story just really quick. Just summary. A cute summary. Yeah, cute summary of like how you started your own bikini line. So I actually started back in 2013-14 crocheting bikinis first. Right. Do you remember that? Yes. I do remember that. That cute one piece that I still need. Oh, yeah. I never gave it to her. <laughs> I forgot. She made well, her actually, own. I never she crocheted finished. her own bikini by hand. The, yes. By hand. Yeah. So that's how I started. And then in 2014, I wanted to go all in and manufact, like get my mm-hmm. designs produced no longer crochet. Um, I tried to stick to making everything in LA, also sourcing here in LA as well. Now I source in LA and Brazil. <gasps> and so I ugh. had it up and running for four years mm. while working a full-time job. Mm. So I abruptly mm. No excuses. For two years, back so back in 2018. And three months ago, I reopened under a new name called Unbo. Yeah, I love it. It's amazing. So everybody go as fast support. as possible. Summer <laughs> is coming. It's kind of like kind of, kind of right around the corner. So everybody shop, shop Umbo, her Delina's bikinis. Mm-hmm. And then Yessie, Yessie, what can we expect from you? Ooh, put me on the spot. Put you on the motherfucking yes, I spot. I knew this bitch. was going to happen. Woo-hoo. You're ending us off. You're ending the episode off. What Come can on. we expect from Yessie? Okay, so um, I am trying to tap back you into are tapping into my creative mm-hmm. side again because yeah. I've turned that away for so long. Right, as we kind of touched on. Yep, we like you know got introduced to each other at dance class. Yeah. I stopped taking dance. She's a dancer, y'all. She's a dancer. I have a dancer. I haven't taken dance in a few That's years. That's how they met. But yep. yeah, so I want to definitely tap back into that. Tap into music. I want to start. I used to sing a really long time ago, and I'm she. No oh my Cut the Stop. bullshit, Yessie. Ugh. This bitch can sing her ass off. And she I'm gonna is bring amazing. her we're gonna bring her back. We're gonna bring her back like in a after I get back from Atlanta and all of that. And we're gonna see where she's at. 
She's. The, I like this. Okay. Yeah. You know that's because the goal. that is the goal. And what she I, has been procrastinating for so long. Almost, almost like my audience. My audience. Mm-hmm. You guys work. You know, full time jobs. Yes, you have responsibilities. Yes, you have kids. All of that. And you guys are letting your dreams just c- sit there and collect dust. Yeah. And it's just, it's just not fair anymore to yourself. Like I, mm-hmm. I look at myself. Can't and live I'm without like, it. I can't live without it. I tried to for five years. I got a great career. I blah blah blah. All this stuff. And I was like. Something is missing. Something's missing, and it's right. my creativeness. Like I mm. need to be able to just create, whether it's to write a song that one person will listen to and relate to, mm-hmm. or nobody. Like I don't even care at that point. It's just for me. Like when I do, because I will release an EP. When I do, that's gonna feel so good. That's my present to myself. That's all I need, Aww. and it'll be a present to myself that I did it. I wanted to do something, and I did it. I figured it out. I didn't yep. let it fester in fear and think about, oh well, I haven't sang in so long, so. People don't recognize me as that. And people have been doing it so much longer than me. Why Why do I have to do it now? And I don't even have time. I have a full-time job. And and it's like, at the end of the day, life's going to throw you what it's going to throw you. And right. mm-hmm. if you're going to really want to do whatever it is that you want, sing, dance, you will make time for it. You will. Yeah, and eventually you will. your life will become that. Yeah, and that's something re- that I do honestly love about Aaliyah, like 100%, is you always just go and you trust the process and you the universe do does repay you like yeah. one thousand percent i i still mm-hmm. remember you quitting your job and me being like are you sure <laughs> <laughs> and here we that are that is a whole other episode but when mark my words yes. what is today today is february 16th 2021 when yesi enters this room again she is mm. going to have something to share she's gonna have some type of project that we're gonna need you know to fucking blow up for her and support her and she would have finally she She's going to do it. Yeah. And when she I comes back, we're going to talk about it. And 1000%. I need this. I love you guys so much. Love Thank you, you again for coming on the show, you, my guys. queens. Aww. Going to hookah after this. So we got to go. See you next time here on Act of Class. Mwah. <laughs>